just out fire. <laughs> this is going to be a general <gasps> intimate reading. Yes, it's going to be a general intimate reading, okay, guys? Um, we're going to be using the sexual sexual tarot magic deck magic sexual tarot deck anyways you guys know which one it's the deck that shows um breast assess ass cracks and there's dry humping and stuff going on here but it's juicy shit i don't know um anyways if you are not of age or if these types of things, sexual images, speaking of sexual things, offend you, click the fuck off now, please. Thank you very much. Okay, um, I just want to point out my lips because I know people are going to email or DM me. They're different, right? I was channeling the late 90s this morning, and so I did a little something something, a little throwback here where I lined my lips darker than the actual lipstick and gloss it's actually three lipsticks it's like two matte ones and then I put a gloss on the top honey we just went all out this morning okay I don't know why but we did and I was just like wow it took me right back to the 90s honey late 90s I graduated high school in 1996 okay so I mean around this time period late 90s you know this was popular and you know songs like um I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging up the passenger's side from his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. So it's just how my lips look too when I was singing it. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. But picture me 25, 30 pounds thinner. <sighs> Hi, my name is who? My name is... <laughs> Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. That reminds me of this too. Hi, my name is who? My name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Very first card is the Six of Swords. Well, grounding. Right? Six of Swords is peace. Why did I just hear we're going to weather this storm? Or I've weathered this storm. Somebody has been through storms. Whether this is, um, some maybe even literal, uh, is for some it's a sh it's been shit storms. I've been through storms, shit storms. But six of swords in this picture because as you can see, they're fucking on the grass, and this is earthing, right? The act of earthing would be to ground ourselves and soak up the earth's energy by walking barefoot. But I mean, I'm sure you could. Mm, Accomplish the same thing with your butt cheeks. Your bare ass on the ground. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that though because I don't like ants and dirt. Especially dirt in my ass. This is a feeling of calmness. I've weathered the storm. I, it's going to be relevant somehow, the weather, the storm, or storm, or whatever. I mean, it is a, a, an analogy, clearly. But I feel like it's going to really be like a ding, ding, ding. See what I did there? God, I need my own motherfucking show. See what I did there? Ding, ding, ding. As in, ding, ding, ding. You see what I did there? I didn't even try that either. Fuck. It just happened. Six of Swords. Peace. You are my peace. For some of you, it's a shit storm in your life, their life, but you or the other, you guys bring each other peace or something. You know what I mean? It's this thing about peace and calmness. Also, I know this is, I'm going to say it as it comes. Also, for a lot of people, whether you're with this person yet or not, okay, take it as it resonates. When you have a really stressful day, you guys fuck like animals, like the song Closer by Nine Inch Nails that they were channeling to me a couple days ago. They channeled it to my friend too. Um, I want to fuck you like an animal. It's like you guys just fuck it out. 
and then you come really explosively and then it's like <sighs> something's flipped <gasps> nine of pentacles are they obsessed <laughs> look at this motherfucker right here he is trying to cut a piece of her fucking hair bitch he can't get enough he he cannot get enough he loves everything about you for some of you it's literally the hair because i can just feel it it's like they touch your hair it's very king of cups energy in this deck because you know in the key in the card with the i can't fucking talk i'm all flustered um the king of cups card in this deck he's petting her head it's something about the hair they love your hair or they love to touch your hair bitch they probably pull your hair when they're slamming you or something too it's this hair thing but at the same time it's it's this symbol of territory claim they're claiming you you're theirs you're mine this is mine it's very borderline obsessive it is but if for for an unbalanced person who is low vibrational, it would be all obsession and low vibration. But this feels like it's a high vibed person, which means they would know how to balance that out. They'd know how to tone it down, the, the obsession. But it does. It, it's this obsessive type of a feeling, but they tone it down by being so seasoned and so high vibrational and balanced, really. It, I want to fuck you like an animal. I want to feel you from the inside out. Or is it I want to touch you from the inside out? Shit, I can't even think at this very second. I apologize. I'm, 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 I'm sweating. I'm double fisting, I know, guys. I know. Give me a second, please. I told you. Bitch, don't ever come for me unless I sent for you. What did I just say? The King of Cups petting her head. I told you. I know. I, I, I know. I know. It's a mic drop moment. Boom. Kanani. I told you. It's what I feel. It's this head thing. It's the, it's the hair. It's the petting. But it's also this claim. Like, this is, is letting all motherfuckers know. It's like this thing. Attention. Attention. This bitch is mine. It's like this petting, like this. It, and it's also this soothing thing, but it's also comforting, but it's also staking claim in a, in a nurturing way. <laughs> bitch, I told you. Shit. I can I also point out that the cards is 69. <laughs> Spirit got fucking jokes today. I'm not a fan of the that only because it's hard to concentrate shit i'm multitask honey i'm the queen of multitasking but i don't want to multitask then shit I, I i'm loud that's why so it's like for maybe a quiet mute person they they, they could you know <sighs> my back's getting itchy okay you're mine this person is head over heels the emperor or the king however you want to look at him oh he fell Ooh, it's almost like he fell, not just in love. Mm. This dude, I just heard, I usually fall in like, but this time I fell in love. You guys ever heard that term, fall in like? Yeah, I don't fuck around with many people. I fall in like, because they don't allow themselves to become emotionally attached to people. So I fall in like with these mofos, with these hoes, however you would hear the term, right? This dude fell in love, but it's deeper. His, the soul is just... They're almost annoyed at, at how much they want you. It's almost an annoyance, and not in a bad way, but it's like, why the fuck? 
do I want you so badly? Why the fuck am I so in love? What is this feelings? How come I can't shake it? How come I feel obsessed? I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop watching them. If they, if they have access to you and like you're on TV or you're on YouTube or you're on Instagram, they can't stop looking at you or watching you. If, if it's in person, like you work at a store or like you work in the next building or you live in the building that they live in, it's this constant like watching. I can't stop watching you. They're obsessed. King of Cups doesn't reveal it though. He could be very poker faced about this and hasn't revealed this to you yet or doesn't let you know how deep it goes. How deep is your love? How deep is, how deep, I keep hearing that now. How deep is your love? How, I know, I'm so, my daughter says I sing like this. When she, I'm a fucking teenager. <laughs> when she imitates me singing, she's like, wake up, wake up, it's the first of the month. <laughs> she is fucking something, I got a Virgo. And she is a fucking comedian, I swear to God she really is. It's the Missy and Jordan show, it really is. She's fucking hilarious. But. I hear it in my head. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? That's the only part I can remember right now. Um, funny too, because on Instagram yesterday, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, they were channeling the song to me. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough. To keep me from you. I know that last line is not right, but meaning come hell, come high water, nine of swords. They are so fucking worried. Oh, they're so worried because they're in love. I fucking tell you, I'm telling you, I can feel it. They're going. It's a, it's a, it's a, they're quiet about it too. <laughs> they can't tell nobody. I feel like they can't tell nobody. They're like, they're like I swear to you, like they can't tell nobody. It, this is their, this is their little secret. Not that you're a secret, because bitches gonna blow this wide open and go, oh fuck, no, I'm not nobody's little dirty secret. Bitch, unless you're dirty, are you dirty? Probably not, right? But if you're dirty, well then. Ugh. But what we're not saying you're a dirty little secret. What I'm saying is that you're their secret. It's almost like you are their little secret. I don't know how else to put it. They don't want to share you with the world yet, and I don't think they understand how to they don't understand what this is yet so that how do i tell my friend my business partner how do i tell my my, my brother my sister how do i tell them because i don't even understand what this is it has that kind of a feeling to it but they're fearful and they're fearful because they don't have you yet i feel that i feel like they don't have you yet the petting of the hair, the hair cutting and things, imagining, slipping it in. It's all the things that they're thinking of now. They're daydreaming it. It's very Seven of Cups kind of an energy. It's, it, they're daydreaming this. But then the fearful part comes from, I don't have you. I, I don't have them yet. And I'm worried that other people will see what I see. You've ever had that feeling of like, when you really like somebody and you get, or you want, or you really like something and you get kind of nervous that other people are gonna want it too. And you, you just know because the thing that you want is so great that how can everybody else not see the, the value in this thing too? Cause it's so wonderful and it's so great. That's how they're feeling. They're worried because they goddamn well know that other people will see what they see. The Four of Swords and the Chariot. Chariot could be water, Cancer, Scorpio, excuse me, Cancer. Uh, the King of Chalices could have been water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it doesn't feel like necessarily the energy of the Zodiac sign. The Chariot is about fast moving forward progress. I want you to move in with me. I want to marry you. It's this extreme head over heels in love it's no matter against all odds or something it's like this thing like very romeo and juliet even though everybody says don't do it it's it's not that it's a bad pairing it's just this person wants to go from zero to a million real motherfucking quick with you so it could be like you meet a person and in two weeks you guys go we're in love and we're getting married next month it's and I always knew that that's how it would be with my counterpart. I feel like that too. Like we're gonna just meet and go. It's you. It's you. 
oh, how do you know it's him, Missy? Because I know. It's, it's, it's you. And they would have that same, it's this mutual thing, like, oh, it's you. Four of Swords. Look at what he's doing. She's trying to cover his dangling, and he's trying to open her mouth. Put it in my mouth, in my motherfucking mouth. She's not singing that, though. She's saying, don't you put it in my mouth. He's saying, let me just stick the tip in. Don't ever fall for let me just stick the tip in, bitches. It always ends up being the whole enchilada. Or Vienna sausage, or... However that works. Um, Four of Swords is a, it's, it's, it feels like surrender, surrender to it, surrender to it. Like how are they going, open your mouth, just surrender to it, just give it to me. It, I, I feel like it's the surrender. Surrender to me. They want you to fully surrender. Body, mind, soul. Ooh, I don't mind. But that's with my counterpart, not everybody i'm not gonna person right where it's like and that's how this is too once this person locks eyes with you or not even locks eyes with you but sees you somehow and it's this instant recognition of it's them it's them it's them everybody else ugly to them <laughs> i'm the same way once i when i'm feeling somebody everybody else fucking ugly to me i'm just like like honest to god i i can only do that it's like i have one target only and it's just the way it is that's why my counterpart will never have to worry about me wandering eyes i don't even look at nobody now when i'm motherfucking single <laughs> surrender surrender to me surrender to this give give it to me give i want it Ooh. i bet you motherfucking do I'll bet you motherfucking do. All right. Put it in my mouth. In my motherfucking mouth. I said put it in your mouth. Something flipped. Ten of pentacles. I just saw the word luxury. They're going to shower you with gifts. They're probably very rich i wanted to kind of word that differently but spirit said don't fuck around <laughs> they rich there's wealth luxury because i saw the word luxury they want to give you a luxurious life they want to shower you with the best of the best even if that's not your style i'm bougie yes but i also at the same time can be non-bougie so for me i don't always have to have the best of the best of the best but it's nice but it's not just everything that i want but like what i'm saying is that whether you like the best or you don't they want to give you what you want is the whole point of this <sighs> 10 completion you're it I, I just feel it like they're going the search is over you're it i look no further you're it extreme luxury and with this ten of pentacles she is like the feast this is how they look at you that you are in the flesh every single thing that they could ever ask for and something about you is luxurious something about you i mean if you say motherfucker you still drink with your pinky up you see what i'm saying like you ain't gotta be this whole classy mute little thing that you know, doesn't speak doesn't make eye contact with people oh no you can still be you boo you can be wild and crazy whatever so i'm not saying that it's classy meaning like it has to be this watered down version of a person no but it's like you ever heard that saying a lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets you know i hope i'm saying that right i swear when i channel i can't even sometimes remember what color the sky is crazy right but it's just the way it is so the simplest things that I, I just can't think of while I'm working and they do that on purpose too because they want they blocked everything else out sometimes 
I'm channeling. I don't even remember how old I am. How weird is that, right? And then as soon as I'm done channeling, I go, oh yeah, duh, 41. I swear to you, sometimes I go, what's my mom's name? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you experience that, though, you know, who channel also something flipped. Seven of Pentacles. Oh man, there's, they're gonna, I can't even talk. They're gonna cancel all plans to be with you. Seven of Pentacles, look at the two of them. They're exhausted, they're spent, but it's like this, Mm, I just want to be with you. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't breathe. I can't think. I only see, eat, feel you. I, I just want my head like them telling people cancel that. Cancel that. I'm going to stay home today. Cancel that. We're going away. It's like they can't get enough of you. Like you become their entire world like consumed. Mm, Seven of Pentacles is investment to time investment. And that's all they want to do is spend their time with you. I, I heard the words cancel that. I'm not doing that today. No, I don't want to do that. Cancel that. It's like they're trying to clear their schedule. And they're, now their schedule would be you. Not in this bad way too. Because you know, sometimes people go, oh, I don't want somebody not focus on their career. Oh, they're very seasoned. And they have a lot. They are at this place in their life where if they want to not work today, they don't need to work today. And remember, this would be a balanced individual, somebody who wouldn't allow the obsession to take over them. They wouldn't. And if they did, you or the other person, right, would be the person to bring them back down. You balance each other out. The yin to the yang. You wouldn't get too obsessed because they wouldn't let you and vice versa. You guys would literally be the perfect complement to each other. You are each other's strength. And here we have the strength card. You're each other's peace. See how this is like taming the beast. You guys, they take you guys tame each other. It's supposed to be Leo energy. X I is eleven. That's why my name is on Instagram. X I underscore Missy underscore X I because it's eleven eleven. I don't know why I felt like I had to point that out where it was relevant because 11, 11, maybe a lot of people are seeing when we first awaken, that's one of the very first sets of numbers we see is 11, 11. Um, four, four, four is usually, you know, reminding us the angels are with us. Three, three, three is always the reminder for me that the ascended masters are with me. Uh, eight, eight, eight means abundance is coming. Five, five, five is change is coming. 11 is like, new beginnings with the ones but there's something symbolic about something ended and something's beginning because 10 then there's 11. so it's like right after this 10 it's like a new beginning and 11. Um, something about it too though the xi it's very you know roman numerals are cryptic almost right because they're letters and not numbers and there's something about geometrics or like Fibonacci shit or like uh, alchemical signs and shit like it's something about that because I, I see it all in my head it's like almost looks like geometry in my head but I know it's other things it's other symbols and signs and it's Roman numerals and then I see little bits of numbers but barely any it's this whole it's like a code that's what it is like a code that I see in my head uh what kind of code? I don't know. Two of Wands. Two of Wands came out yesterday also. It was my very first card when I was live. And that was in the beginning of my live yesterday. I was speaking about X marks the spot. And I couldn't remember. I thought it was February that I first channeled X marks the spot. But I had a few people message me say it was before that. So if you guys remember when I first started talking about or got channeled the X marks the spot, please let me know. Because anyways, I was saying how it was coming back up again yesterday. It came up, you guys saw in the YouTube readings. And then it, it came up, I was talking about it on my live yesterday, and then boom, the first card I pull from the Golden Universal deck is the Two of Wands. And in that deck, there's an X in it. And I went, ugh, X marks a spot. There's something with the X, the actual X. And no, it's not about the 10 completion, it's different. This X. And then somebody wrote a comment on one of the videos yesterday saying that, um, I think it's the star of, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Aldebaran, which was the lucky star, right, energy that we had with this new moon in Gemini. 
And they were saying that that particular star, number one, is Archangel Michael's star. And number two, that star is supposed to be in the eye of Taurus. Taurus is a bull. So the bull's eye, X marks the spot. But you can't make this shit up. Um, and see, we're not, I'm not an astrologer, but see how we feel shit energetically? We kind of just piece it together from there. And then people who know astrology always, since I've been on doing this, always come to me later and they go, this is what it is. It's why you're feeling this, Missy. And it's crazy at the same time. So I love doing what I do. And then the other day, not yesterday, but the day before, in that lie, another live I did, I kept talking about they were making us, fe making me feel like we were locking into our targets, locking in. And then this is, of course, before the bullseye thing. Um, as I feel the same way too. It, locking in, and then the two of wands. I know I went off on a tangent there. I apologize, but the two of wands is a life changing decision that needs to be made, and that's what I'm saying here is that. There are life-changing things that are going to be presented and that's going to happen. And because of this now, what it means is that it's a yes to one thing and it's a no to another. And it's a, I'm going to not take this path. I'm going to take this path. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this. It has that feeling of it. All right, here we go with the Ten of Wands, my favorite card. As you can see why. It is the one where he, they just can't wait. Putting the burdens down. Laying something to rest. He, he lay in something, honey. Show look, sh show look like he lay in something in there. You know, let's go to the garden, bitch. I can't be doing that shit. First of all, I'm chubby right now and I'm hot. Okay, it's summertime in the LBC. Oh, I'm in Hawaii though, but we love that song. Um, bitch, I know all the words too. I, don't challenge me while I'm channeling because it's not going to work. But, but when I'm not channeling... Damn, it's hot than a mother. I'm smothering ribs with barbecue sauce. Fools get tossed if they reach across my barbecue grill. So continue to chill at King's Park in the LBC. That's where you'll find me. Hanging with my homies and my friends. We got the Coke in hand. We got the GOG. All come around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Clearly, I will not be getting signed to Shady Records, I guess, huh? Although you ain't never know. Believe in, <laughs> believe in miracles. It's not that expected, Auntie. Um, the Ten of Wands. We're laying something to rest. This is a, 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 what I feel like is this is a culmination of things. It's going to come, to, it's going to hit its pinnacle and it's going to explode. Like this energy of the Ten of Wands feels like I can't take it. We're in the botanical garden and we're on a little date. We're drinking wine. We're doing wine tasting. We're doing it's something where it's like we're just very casual. This is what I feel this is. It's very casual and then all of a sudden it's like, I can't take it. Take me now. I, they're like fucking clothed. It's like he just dropped his drawers, honey. Um, it comes to a pinnacle and it explodes. And you guys put the, the what's being put down here. I mean, she getting dick down too. Um, <clears throat> it's very important to be dicked the fuck down. Um, so not only is she getting dicked down, but it's about what's going down. I'm sorry, I could go on and on and on with the down thing. I'm sorry. What's going down is their walls. Their walls are coming down. I'm sorry. Okay, well, how much time we have? 28 minutes. All right. Look at this, the emperor on the bottom of the deck. This will be our last card. He is depleted like a motherfucker. Because he just, it's like, <laughs> I told you this was an emperor, but he's very like, <sighs> can eat, can't sleep, can't breathe. You guys know Tanya Stevens? <gasps> I love her. She sings, it's a pity you already have a wife. And she also has another song, can't eat, can't sleep, can't breathe. She's amazing. I fucking love her. I believe she lives in Jamaica. 
Um, the emperor here is got one thing on his mind, and that's you. He wants to eat you. He wants to smell you. He wants to touch you. He wants to hold you. He wants to love you. He wants to be inside of you. He wants to protect you. He wants to give you everything. He's exhausted. It's a hard job. But the emperor here, whoever this is, you're landing. It's like you hit the jackpot and they also hit the jackpot with you. Because this is a person that you can go to war with. Now, Parabellum, John Wick. Oh, Keanu, I love you. If Keanu, if anyone's watching, or Keanu, or who knows Keanu, I love you. My daughter's obsessed with John Wick. Um, and we just watched John Wick Parabellum, right? And Parabellum is Latin for prepare for war. This is the kind of motherfucker you can go to war with, that you trust to go to war with. As an Aquarian, I don't trust nobody. And so the, this team of people, which is very little, I, and when I say team, we're exaggerating. The people in my life right now, um, it's very tight group, honey. Tighter than this punani, okay? Um, and that's just how we keep it, honey, because we don't trust nobody. But this would be a person that you go, oh, I trust this person with my fucking life. I trust them with my finances. I trust them with helping me make decisions. I trust them in everything. Get more information. Look at this. This is like the Merkaba. See the geometrical signs and stuff? See it? It's the Merkaba. Google it. I, I don't got time to talk about the Merkaba. But it's very Melchizedek y. It's all masculine energy, all those things. The, the Melchizedek shit, it's all about the divine masculines and stuff too. The twins, not just masculines in general, but the, the twins in particular that are, that, that, that are here for the mission, basically. Yes. What you was asking about? The answer is yes. But, sorry, I'm burping Perrier. But some of you, you're going to have to get a little more information about something here. I'm going to get Keepers of the Light. I was going to end it in summertime in the LBC. Oh, my God. You have the fucking Twin Flame Angels. Oh, my God. The Miriam. Sacred Vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. And this is the Twin Flame Angels. See the two circles right there intertwining? Remember, if you well, if you guys weren't following me that long, but for those who were, remember when I went to New York in December and in our hotel elevator, it was a glass elevator, and when you press the button, the light lit up around the button, so it was a round circle of light, but in the reflection, it was like this. Exactly like the two circles intertwined like this and also like this. Are they rings? Marriage? I don't know, but that's the twin flame angel uh, guiding this together. These are twins. And you guys know how I feel about the twin thing. It has evolved and changed the more basically woke I've become. It's just, I don't like the generalization of it because a lot of the generalization of it, it's not what it is, at least that's for me. And again, remember guys, we agree to disagree, right? You don't have to agree with somebody, but then again, you don't have to personally attack them either. You just don't agree and you keep fucking scrolling. That's a life hack. I don't like this. I don't like what they're saying. I don't like how they look. I don't like how they speak. Instead of disliking and putting comments and wasting all my time attacking them, I'm just gonna keep scrolling or I'm gonna click the fuck off. That's what we do when we're woke. We pick and choose our battles. Honey, there's a war coming. And what kind of a war? That'll be different for everybody, right? Spiritual war, is this a war of you fighting for abundance, your freedom? Whatever this is gonna be, don't take this all fucking literal either, guys, okay? And freak yourselves out. I don't know details of how everything's gonna work out, but I, I don't feel the world's gonna end. I don't feel that. I'd be pissed if it was tomorrow because I didn't get married yet. I, I still got to get a little bit more tight to get into that wedding dress and shit, okay? I don't even have the groom yet. Like, 
I don't feel it's that. I don't. But there are still wars that need to be fought. Every day we fight wars, right? Wars within our own head. Wars within ourselves. Wars with, you know, what's right and what's wrong with the light and the dark and shit, whatever. All right, guys, it's Gemini season, so I'm rambling on and on and on and on. I'm chattier than a motherfucker. I am a Gemini rising, so, I mean, that is in my blood. I'm chattier today, though, and I've noticed during Gemini season. I think Mercury's in Gemini or some shit right now, too, so we might be extra chattier. All right, I'm going to go. If you want to book a reading with me, please click on the link below. And um, my evil eye bracelets will be coming out soon. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.